we are going to solve this limit problem by factoring. But we're going to start the way I always start by just plugging in this number. So let's plug in 3 and see what happens. If I plug in 3, 3 squared is going to be 9 minus 9 on top over 3 minus 3 on the bottom. That's 0 over 0. 0 over 0 means we have to do algebra. Okay, so what algebraic operation am I going to use on this limit? Well, there's no square root, so I'm not going to multiply by the conjugate. There's no fractions, so I can't get a common denominator. I bet I can factor this. X minus, or I'm sorry, X squared minus 9, that's a difference of squares. X squared minus 9, that can factor into X plus 3, X minus 3. And on the bottom, we still have X minus 3. Hey, isn't that nice? X minus 3 over X minus 3 cancels. And I'm left with just X plus 3. Now that I've canceled the denominator, I can evaluate at this limit. I can evaluate at x equals 3. I plug in 3 for x. I get 3 plus 3 is 6. And we're done.